protesters carried images of Sheikh Nimr al-Nimr, a prominent critic of the Saudi royal family, who was convicted of inciting unrest. The popular Shia cleric called for free elections and was arrested during a 2012 protest. His death angered large Shia populations in Iran and Iraq. Every son and every thinker of the Iraqi people condemned the decision to put Sheikh Namir on the terrorist list. The leader of Lebanese Shiite militant group Hezbollah, Hassan Nasrallah, slammed Saudi Arabia in a televised speech on Sunday, while the audience shouted death to the House of Saud. The execution of Sheikh Nimr al-Nimr asserts to the Arab and Muslim world a Saudi message by blood, by sword and by beheading that the Saudi regime is not concerned with the Islamic world, the other Muslim sects or Muslim and international public opinion and does not care about the friends who send messages asking and begging. It is a regime that does not care for the feelings of hundreds of millions of Muslims in the world who are harmed by such act. Saudi Arabia's Muslims are mostly Sunnis and the country's law is based on Sharia. Shia Muslim leaders are calling for a strong international condemnation of the Saudi leaders. We call on the United Nations and human rights organizations all over the world to stand strongly against the tyranny of the House of Saud and the criminal murder of Sheikh Namir Bakir al-Namir. If the world doesn't speak out now, then when? The Desert Kingdom is home to Islam's holiest sites, Mecca and Medina, which are under the king's control, a situation that many Muslims worldwide resent. Today, on the martyrdom of al-Nimr, we are out in full force to protest and demand that Saudi Arabia hand over the holy places to all Muslim nations jointly, as they are not qualified to be the custodian of holy places, so that all Muslim countries take control of holy places in their hands jointly. Most of those put to death were alleged Sunni militants, and most of them were Saudi citizens. Zlarica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.